Hello musicians, this is Andrew Mercer here, and I'm coming to you from my father's workshop here at the Old Violin Shop. Now, uh, today's tutorial, very short tutorial on how to tighten your chin rest. Chin rests come loose quite often. I mean, we, we're, we, there's a lot of pressure on our chins here as we hold the violin, so these things do come loose after a while. So you want to make sure you, you have it nice and snug because, really, I mean, it's going to damage the fiddle if it comes loose. And, uh, and you know, you don't want to move it around there anyway. So let me show you how you actually tighten these things up. Now, you notice back here, there are, there are two, whoops, there are two um, uh, kind of screw things that, that are on the, that are holding the, the chin rest in place. Now, um, you can see that there's actually holes in these. So these holes are what we need to use to tighten it. Now, I have a specially designed uh, shoulder rest tightener. Now, you, you might not have one of these, but you can use a lot of things for it. You can use a skewer, like for a chicken, or you can use a, a very heavy uh, uh, paper clip that you can straighten out and use. Um, there's a lot of things, as long as it's got a little bit of strength to it. And you see the tip of it is about the size of a, a heavy paper clip. Okay, so what you do is you need to put the, the tip of the whatever it is that you're using into this hole and then you need to turn it. Now, if you turn it one way, you're going to loosen it and turn it the other way, you're going to tighten it. And uh, that's always a little bit of confusion. But hey, if it gets looser, you're going the wrong way. Duh. Okay, now, before you get into this, let me tell you one little thing. If you're using a paper clip or a skewer, you will be able to put it right straight through the hole and it'll come out the other side. So it'll it will actually be too long, and that's you gotta be careful with that because as soon as you start twisting it, the extra length of the skewer will hit the wood and you'll gouge the wood as you twist. So you'll as soon as you start turning, you'll scratch the wood below. So be very careful about that. Okay, so what you do is you give it a couple little turns until you feel a bit of tension there. Now here is another important thing: if you over tighten this, you're going to crush your fiddle. Yes, you will crush your fiddle if you over tighten this. So do it tight, like give it a little twist until it feels snug. Test it, twist your twist the chin, chin rest. Yeah, it feels pretty snug. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then that's it. Leave it alone. Don't over tighten. You can you can crank away at this as long as you want, and it will tighten and tighten, and it will crush your fiddle. So don't do that. And one other little thing, the shoulder rest behind here, underneath be, between the metal and the wood, there's a piece of cork. Okay, you have to make sure that's in place. And if it's missing, you're going to want to replace it. And you best to replace it with cork as well. So you can get that at some office supply stores. You know, you might get some thin sheet cork. You can also get it at some specialty music stores. And it's also here as well, underneath the between the, the wood here and the wood of the, the body, there's cork as well. So you're going to need a little bit of cork there too. And that does come loose sometimes. Don't glue it on. I mean, you can glue it onto the shoulder rest, but don't glue it onto the fiddle, okay? Um, but uh, get some and put it in place and, and make sure that it's replaced. Okay, so that's basically it. Give us a thumbs up if this video is good for you. If it helps you out, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Be sure to subscribe to these videos, too. We have a lot of these videos. And um, as we do new ones, um, you know, whether you're an advanced player or you're a beginner or whatever, I'm sure you can, uh, you, you, you know, it's nice to see what's coming up. So if you subscribe, you'll keep track of all these new videos. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, or if this helped you in some way, and you want to talk about it, or you got a heated debate, please go to the, the section below here, uh, the discussion section, and give us a comment. You know, feel free. Also, if you have any requests for other things, that maybe something's wrong with your fiddle, or something about your playing you got a question about, send me a link, and I'll be more than happy to make another tutorial on your topic. So there you go. All right. So guys, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.